Before she died, an elderly Bulgarian woman predicted several terrible events such as the deaths of 9-11 or the coronavirus pandemic. Her accurate prophecies earned her many followers. Did you know this lady and what she said will happen in 2024? Vangelia Pandeva is better known as Bava Vanga. Surely you all remember what the word Baba means from the famous video of Baba Zadzidvara. Baba is grandmother or old woman. And since her name is Vangelia, she was nicknamed Old Lady Vanga, although she is also known as the Nostradamus of the Balkans. Several sources stated that she predicted the disintegration of the Soviet Union, the Chernobyl disaster, the date of Joseph Stalin's death, the September 11 attacks, or that the 44th President of the United States would be black, among other events. It is said that in 1976, the Yugoslavian actress and singer Silvana Armenulik was on tour in Bulgaria and decided to meet the psychic. Vanga just sat in front of a window with her back to Silvana, but she didn't speak. After a while, the lady finally said, You don't have to pay. I don't want to talk to you. Not now. Go and come back in three months. When Silvana turned around and walked towards the door, Vanga said, Wait! In fact, you won't be able to come. Go. Go. If you can come back in three months, do so. Silvana took this as confirmation that she would die and left Vanga's house crying. The artist died two months later in a car accident with her sister. In 1989, she predicted an attack on the United States, saying, Horror, horror! The American brothers will fall after being attacked by the steel birds. The wolves will howl in a bush and innocent blood will flow. Her followers associated it with the 9-11 attack. An attack in the United States, attacked by steel birds, that is, the planes that crashed into the Twin Towers. And the bushes were linked to President Bush. We point out here that this was said 12 years before the 2001 attacks. Vanga's followers say she also predicted the terrible tsunami of 2004 by foreseeing a huge wave that would cover a large coast, covered with people and villages, and everything would disappear underwater. That was the largest and most devastating tsunami in recorded history. In 2020, she was named in many headlines again when Neshko Stefanova, a renowned gymnast and coach, claimed that Baba Vanga predicted the coronavirus when she visited her in 1996. The woman claimed that Vanga confessed to her, Neshka, the corona will be upon us. The gymnast said she didn't know what her words meant at the time. Corona is the Bulgarian word for guardianship and is associated with Russian leadership in the country. She thought it meant that the country would be under the tutelage of Russia. But in 2020, she quickly associated that corona with COVID-19. It is also said that she predicted the precise date of her own death, dreaming of dying on August 11th and being buried on August 13th. Shortly before that, she had said that a 10-year-old blind girl living in France would inherit her gift and that people would soon find out who she was. Several researchers studied Vanga's phenomenon to try to find out if she really had some extraordinary ability or if it was just a result of chance and coincidence. One of the first studies was initiated by the Bulgarian government and is depicted in the 1977 film Phenomen. Some of those studies concluded that around 80% of the old woman's predictions turned out to be accurate. However, they talk about fulfilled predictions, but not so much about those that weren't fulfilled, which indicates a tendency to increase this percentage of precision. Some examples are the unfulfilled predictions in which she said that in 2011, as a result of nuclear weapons, there would be no one alive in the Northern Hemisphere, and that the Muslims would start a war against all Europeans blaming them for the destruction. And what does the future hold for us? Vanga made predictions for the coming centuries before she died. Regarding 2024, it is said that some of her prophecies are the following. A powerful tsunami will hit Asia this year, affecting several countries in the region. 
It could be even worse than the one in 2004 that she already predicted. There will be a great economic crisis that will affect several countries. She also predicted an earthquake for this year in the United States, which will cause serious material damage and human loss. She also prophesied the decline of the oil age. We will begin to bet more on clean alternatives. And since not everything was going to be bad news, it is also said that she predicted that there will be a great medical advance that will allow the cure of important diseases, such as some type of cancer or AIDS. As for the most apocalyptic predictions of the following years, there would be that extraterrestrials will help civilizations live underwater by the year 2130, that there will be a war on Mars in the year 3005, and in another apocalyptic message, she said that everything on Earth will die in the year 3797. But, at this stage, humans should be able to move to a new star system. Whether you believe her predictions or not, it is clear that she was a woman who didn't leave the world indifferent. But how did it all start? Vangelia was born in 1911 in Estrumica, daughter of Pando and Paraskeva. She was born prematurely and suffered health complications. At that time, local tradition in her area was that she shouldn't be named or baptized until she was considered able to survive. And all that week, the baby survived and was named Vangelia. In her childhood, she was a blonde girl with brown eyes. Her mother died when she was four years old, and her father was fighting in the Bulgarian army. So the little girl was left in the care of her neighbors and family friends for much of her childhood. She had a normal behavior, without anything out of the ordinary or any peculiarities. She liked to play at being a doctor and prescribe some herbs to her friends during the games, while they pretended to be sick. After World War I, Stumika was annexed by Serbia, and her father was arrested for his pro-Bulgarian activity. All their assets were confiscated and the family fell into poverty for many years. Sometime later, the man remarried, thus providing Vangelia with a stepmother. According to the lady's own testimony, a moment that remained marked in her memory occurred when she was 12 years old. She said a tornado lifted her into the air and threw her into a nearby field. After searching for many hours, they found her lying on the ground, buried between stones and dirt. Witnesses said they saw her very scared and her eyes were covered in sand and dust. At that time, her family didn't have much money. What they had was only enough to pay for a partial operation and heal the wounds she had suffered. However, they could not preserve her sight and she became blind. Given the situation, she was taken to a school for the blind in the city of Semun, where she spent three years and was taught to read braille, play the piano, knit, cook and clean. After her stepmother died, she had to return home to take care of her younger siblings. Regardless of her blindness, she managed to help her family. In 1939, Vanga contracted pleurisy, a condition that causes chest pain and worsens when breathing, which made her have to rest for a long time. The doctor's opinion was that she would die soon, but she recovered and pulled through. The first manifestation of her gift was with her father. It is said that being blind, she helped the man find a sheep stolen from the flock he was caring for. She did so by precisely describing the place where the sheep was, and she argued that she had seen it all in a dream. During the Second World War, Stromika, her city, was ceded to Bulgaria. At that time, word had spread that Vanga had a special ability for healing and divination of the future, which caused many believers to approach her. Every day, several people visited her, hoping to get a clue about their relatives, whether they were alive or not, or looking for the place where they had died. The rich and famous trusted her, and even heads of state and powerful politicians around the world sought her opinion. Her fame was such that even the Bulgarian Tsar Boris III himself visited her. In May 1942, Vanga married Dimitar Gusterov, a Bulgarian soldier who had come to her to ask about his brother's martyrs. She told him the names, but with a condition. She made him promise not to seek revenge. And from that mating, love arose, and shortly after, they became a couple. 
Shortly before their marriage, Dimitar and Vanga moved to Petrich, where she soon became known. Dimitar was drafted into the Bulgarian army and had to spend time in northern Greece. Sometime later, the man contracted an illness and fell into alcoholism, leaving Vanga alone in 1962, when he died. It is not true to say that Vanga was left alone, because she didn't lack visits. People continued coming to her to find out her predictions. Her abilities were secretly recognized by the Bulgarian authorities. In 1967, she was employed and received a salary from the state. According to some data, during the years of the clairvoyant's life, she met more than one million people. With the money she saved, the church Santa Petka Bulgarska was built. Her relations with the church weren't good at all. However, she did consider herself a believer. Given those predictions and success, the Orthodox Church investigated her case, coming to the conclusion that her abilities were the result of the influence of demonic forces. Theologians of the Bulgarian Orthodox Church believed that at the time of her visions and predictions, Vanga was possessed by an evil spirit and was subject to its will. Despite her predictions and her ability to see what others could not, the disease presented in the form of breast cancer, and she died on August 11, 1996, at the age of 85. Fulfilling the last will of her will, her house in Petridge was converted into a museum. Around 3,000 personal objects are kept there. Among them are photographs, clothing, gifts from people she helped, documents, and objects that serve her throughout her life. Do you think that this lady had powers to see the future, or that her success is the result of coincidence and foresight? Do you think she will have gotten more predictions right than the Simpsons writers? As always, we want to read your opinions in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, and if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!